Hello and welcome to the Dustin Eric Podcast Show brought to you by Mimosa Networks. Hi, I'm Dustin. Hi, I'm Eric. Hey, Dustin. And I'm reporting to you live from Hawaii on the beach here. What? Yeah. What are you, what? You're stuck at home, Eric? I'm, I'm in Hawaii. Yeah. No, I'm in my condo. I'm, I'm down in Fiji. This is my oh, condo. okay. Let's see out your window. It's late. It's, it's, there you go. <laughs> I, just, I just had uh, housekeeping put these curtains up. The, the sun down here on the islands in the South Pacific is blinding. Oh, I see. It's well, blinding. anyway, everyone, happy new year. Happy, um, actually, we're, what, yeah, December 38th, 2020, right? It's not, 2021 doesn't exist. And happy or birthday, it, happy birthday, uh, I got a shout out. Can I do that? Sure. Happy birthday to Elvis. It's his, Elvis's birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, Elvis. Um, or is this, you know, 2020 version two, you know, Anyway, I think we're all ready for 2022 already with uh, everything that's already happened over the past, I don't know, eight days and everything that's happened over the past, you know, almost one year now, everybody being stuck indoors and locked down and COVID and, you yeah. know, we're just kind of ready for this crap to end at this point. Oh, you mean you haven't been down in Florida for 12 months? What's Gee, it'd be nice. You know, it's actually been kind of, you know, mild here in the Bay Area. You know, it's been in the 60s, which is... I'm not quite used to. I'm used to it being a little chillier than that. But all right. Yeah. So today we wanted to do a, a quick firmware overview. Just just a quick run through. There's so many flavors. There's a number of flavors of firmware. So yeah, uh, we've got lots of products and lots of different firmware versions. So uh, and a yippy yipper in the background. How's that coming through? Wow. Oh yeah, it's coming through. It's okay. Today's head twenty nine dollar headphones just do a fantastic job. I guess. So, Erica, uh, where, where are we starting at? Which, which product line are we starting uh, on? You know, let's say A5X. Uh, you know, we, we, we thought we could take uh, a 2804 the GA and, and apply that to uh, uh, both point to multipoint and, and point to point. So, but here's the, here's the lineup, and you'll find it on if you log into your firmware uh, uh, cloud pages. So, 2802 GA is the point to multipoint for A5X and, and the radio family. But the 2804 GA is will be point to point strictly the B series uh, B5 B5C C5C C5X. So just be careful with the the 2802 versus the 2804 when you go to the firmware tabs. Right, and keep in mind if it has a fourth number on it like 2802 or 2804, that's a bug fix version. So 280 is the official version that's out. But then we've got bug fix versions for you know point to point and point to multipoint so 2802 is for point to multipoint 2804 is for point to point um, for a full list of you know features in 280 you can visit the release notes page on our website uh, but basically it's a huge overhaul for our, our backhaul products uh, you know additional QoS VLAN features so on and so forth uh, and then for point to multipoint it's the the official first version of firmware for the A5X, which is our new access point, which has been out for, you know, a year now. So I guess it's not really new anymore, but it's, you know, our newest product that's out. And, and please come in uh, if, you, if you guys, you know, if anybody has questions on, on the firmware and what goes to what, even though it's on the site, we kind of, uh, we kind of try to make it friendly when we have the, the individual firmware tabs, but we understand some where there may be some uh, confusion. No, no problem. We, we understand that. And so when, when we go live uh, uh, on support and, and through emails or, or whatnot, uh, we, we kind of point you in a direction and kind of explain, you know, what, what goes to what. So, um, All right, Eric, what's next on our list here? Uh, let's see, uh, a 253 uh, general av availability, 253 GA. So that would be for point to multipoint. That's for your uh, A5, like A514, A5C, okay, point to multipoint and client family. So again, remember that A5C and A5, that's completely different firmware from the X, okay, from the A5X. So again, 253GA, A5C, A5, and it also handles point to point, B24. So uh, I know a common question is why can't I use 280 on, you know, the A5? C or A5. So the A5C, the A5, uh, and then A5X, uh, they're completely different operating systems. They're, they're completely different hardware. So 253 uh, isn't compatible with A5X and vice versa. 280 is not compatible with A5C, A5. 
Um, I know that lots of people hope it would be, and while I still hope it will be, it currently isn't. So please do not try to install 280 on A5C because it won't let you. Yeah, that's right. Very good point. Yep, yep. Uh, next, uh, we have 154GA, and that'll be for strictly for point to point. And then we see our your B11, your B5, B5C, and B5 Lite. So 154GA, right. strictly P2P. Yep. So for sure for B11, um, but there's no reason you should be using 1.5 for your B5 and B5C. You should be using 2.8.0, but you can use 1.5 if you want, but you're missing out on a lot of the features that our engineering team has worked very, very hard on over the past couple of years. So we definitely recommend you know moving your B5s and B5Cs to the 2.8.0.4. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what's what's nice too is you know they're always we're always squashing a few bugs here and there and then before that GA goes out engineering is always looking at security uh, thing things and uh, fixes and, and all that too so it's very important to to uh, go to that GA right Maybe. is there anything else on your list there Eric uh, that and uh, I, I think did you want to touch on the MMP the Mimosa management platform or Tiny so Touch. So a tiny touch on what Eric just mentioned is that um, uh, we'll be announcing soon a on-premises uh, solution for the Mimosa Cloud. Um, I know a lot of people in the past have wanted an, you know, an on-premise solution instead of a cloud-based solution. So just be you know, watching for that announcement. Uh, you should be hearing about it uh, the next couple of months. Uh, okay. So... Yeah, just, just stay tuned for that. And then uh, another thing that we're going to talk about today uh, is, you know, recommended uh, routers and switches from most of the products. So it's always a, a common topic. I know that we've kind of talked about it before, but we'll kind of go through it real quick again, just for those that are, you know, asking questions and, you know, kind of curious if things have changed since the last time we talked about it. So uh, Eric, for for switches, um, I know that you, you were out in the field some not nearly as much as we used to be, but what do you recommend for uh, switches, non-POE switches for Mimosa products? Yeah, we're using uh, into the net gears, a lot of net mm -hmm. gear out there. Um, and uh, what, are, what are others? Uh, MT, Microtech, uh, well, that would be routers mostly. Um, and what are the other ones? What are the switches? Help me out here. So, you know, Cisco is a popular brand. I know it's expensive, but it's definitely reliable. Right. Um, Juniper is another one of those that's expensive but reliable. Then you've got the Netgear that you mentioned. Um, uh, there are people who use um, Microtech routers as switches, not that it's recommended, but they do it anyway. In our network, we pretty much use Netgear. We have used TP-Link yeah. switches in the past, um, but we, we kind of settle on Netgear mainly. I know our IT guy might have some... Uh, other suggestions for non poe powered switches but you know he's not here so he can't really comment so for poe uh switches what do you recommend eric uh we're doing some uh well actually uh we're, we're running some tough switches out there to fill for a bit some tough and switches. who's the manufacturer of that let's see they should not be named is that what you're trying to <laughs> but to everyone i think everyone knows uh, I it, I see I like the uh, the login the the user interface. I know there's some some we get different feedbacks on that, but we use them. They're they're fairly uh, the touch switches and so on. They're fairly uh, robust and uh, sturdy under different uh, conditions. Yeah, we use a lot of Nettonics too. There's a lot of love hate relationships Nettonics. out there with Nettonics, um, but you know we've we've had pretty good success with Nettonics as well. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, okay, um, so since you started out naming routers out earlier, what about um, what about routers? What about in-home routers, not not tower routers? What what do you recommend for in-home routers? Oh, we ran some TP links, some some upper TP links. Wi -Fi, well, if you're talking Wi-Fi AP mm -hmm. uh, or at little access points and stuff, so we did those. Uh, I, I like those; they're easy to work. We run around 100, maybe retail around 180 dollars or so plus. Uh, we started some with some doing some simple Google stuff too, and some meshing. Um, right, and then of course that. you know cheaper solutions are like the Microtix, a little WAPs, Wi-Fi APs. Yeah. Are there? Do you have any? And, and they're 
some of them are PoE based too, so they can power your radios from indoors. You know, Do you have any same device? Any any um, qualms or any any issues running some of the MTs behind the radios or PoEs? No, and, and the the cool thing about MicroTik is is that we have a script on our our help site that basically turns your MicroTik into a G2, so you can do your yeah. uh, Mimosa okay. app and configure your, your C5, your C5C, or C5X through the MicroTik instead of a G2. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, and for tower sites, Eric, what, you know, what do you think? Ah, on tower. Uh, our Kind of our go-to is uh, MicroTik uh, Series 1036, I want to say. 1030, yeah, 1036, yeah, the CCR 1036 is. Yeah, that, that guy. Yeah. So that's kind of our, our go-to easy. Uh, to config little LCD yep. screen. Yeah, I think MicroTik is pretty standard for you know in home and for tower sites. It's it's cheap, um, it's easy to configure, so uh, you know it's a pretty standard go to for most people out there. But you know, uh, folks that use other things, you know, if you want to leave comments in the video, uh, you know, that would be great too. That way we can kind of see what everybody uses. Hit subscribe, ring the bell. Oh Lord! Jesus! Subscribe down below. Down below. There you go. There's my finger. Subscribe down below. Yeah. I've never done this. Okay. So, um, I don't know. Anything else there that you can think of? Oh boy. What any Any other common questions you've been seeing on chat lately that you want to address real quick? Yeah. Let's see. Um, I would I would say that I you know some and some folks I I would recommend going to logging in. Uh, to the help pages and kind of fishing out some of your own, uh, some of your own questions uh, and answers and see what you can get there. We'll have a lot of folks come in and say, "Hey, how do I connect the?" P well, a few folks come in and say, "How do I how do I connect to the radio?" Uh, and do I need a do I need that PoE or this PoE? Is, you know, so we'll come in, we'll we'll help them out or direct them. But some and of the basic stuff. The know, cool thing about the help site is there's a yeah. search bar up in the top right hand corner. Just type in one of the terms you're looking for, like how do I reset my radio? Type in reset and you get a whole list of pages here that help you reset your radios or right. you know, right. type in PoE and you get information on PoE instead of trying to look through the left hand side of the, the bar yeah. to figure out where you need to go. Just type in your term up in the top right and it kinda will narrow it down for you as well. Yeah, good point. Yep, yep. Uh, um, well, I don't know. I guess that's it. So I, I'm going to go feed the, the dog. And she's <laughs> she's quiet. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to her. But she's been awful quiet for 10 minutes. Oh, she's in trouble now. So <laughs> okay. anyway, guy, everyone, happy happy 2020 version 2 or, you know, 2021, whatever you want to call it. And uh, hopefully COVID um, will slowly go away sooner rather than later. Hopefully we can all, you know, get back to our normal lives by uh you know maybe june hopefully but maybe sooner than that but probably not but you know fingers are crossed you know that we can get back to life you know you gotta get out to the beach man to, i'm 20 feet away but uh, and like, well you, you know are, get out of the house you know at least so right yep yep yeah all right well be thanks for watching there. and uh, we'll okay, see you on the next uh mimosa podcast all right thanks dustin see you guys later thanks for tuning in Please hit the subscribe or follow button to stay up to date with our latest podcast, which will be available on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, and SoundCloud.